as an actor, when you get sent scripts, when you find out who's directing it, and in my case, you know it's Jason Reitman, I'm literally reading it like, please don't, and I knew very little about the story. I'm an Australian, I was 19 when all this happened, 18, 19. So I'm reading it like, please like it. And within three pages, I was totally sucked into this world. Now, I'm an outsider, I'm not an American. This just felt so relevant to anyone in the world because this was a turning point that very few people even remember or talk about, but actually, the way that politics and the media, the public versus the private, this was the moment when everything changed. And uh, so the more I got into the story, the, I found it funny, I found it emotional, and it's almost like a thriller, it just sucked me in. Of all the projects I've done, this in some ways was the most daunting because uh, Gary, who is now a friend, I got to study, I spoke with everyone who he knew, I met him, I spent time with him and his family, and at some point I knew, or at least I hoped, that he would sit down and watch the movie. I'd never played someone who was alive. I'm depicting, or part of a story that's depicting the worst three weeks of his life. So I knew it was gonna be a complex thing for him and for his family, and I, I took it on as a great responsibility, and so I took it very, very seriously, and I was, extremely nervous the day that Gary was seeing the film. I did a lot of research, notebooks, read books. I, I wanted to understand who he was and, you know, I, I, I'm not even close to the intelligence level of Gary Hart, so I needed to kind of fill my head with uh, where this man was, where he came from and what and how he might react in different situations. That, and I watched a lot of footage, I listened to his voice a lot. For a politician, he's very direct, quite short in his answers, um, succinct, he very rarely drones on, unlike myself. And he, so I watched a lot, and then of course I spent time with him. All of Jason's films have characters at the center that are flawed. They're all flawed. They're very human. They're very gray. They're very, never black and white. The stories often are funny and have an entertaining, and as well as realistic. But I would say this is a slight departure, if I may. Um, it's an exploration of something new. This was a real life event. He was wanting to depict a campaign in the 80s uh, he made us all watch uh, The Candidate, the Robert uh, Rev Redford film, and so we wanted to have a very real um, tone to it, very believable, feel like the 80s without being comedic or shticky, and no heroes and no villains. So you're just seeing the movie and a political campaign, you're seeing the story from 12 different points of view. So everyone was mic'd. He would ad-lib all the time. We would do scenes often where no one knew who was gonna speak first or second. We just sort of went for it and, and it was very alive and very fun. What was most important to Jason, he always spoke about this, that the, the film reminds us all to think for ourselves what is important and what is interesting. Um, and to make a distinction there. And so constantly, not only philosophically and story-wise, but even from the way that's shot, you have a choice of who you're gonna follow. Like you could watch it the second time and you can watch the campaign, you know, volunteers over there. They're all got real dialogue. Every, even all the extras were taught how to use 1980s equipment. They were all given, if all in the campaign office, if you look in the background, in the campaign office, if you look in the background and you see people speaking on the phone, they all had real scripts of what you would say to a donor on the, you know, so everything was very realistic. Jason Reitman's movies uh, are about being human. Uh, it, the, the, the backdrop of the canvas happens to be a political campaign, but really what it is, is a whole bunch of people in a very high pressured situation over really a week. And you see people, how they react under that kind of pressure. 
at their best, at their worst, at their most vulnerable. Um, and I find the movie very emotional, actually.